The Soule's problem that says determine the components of reaction at the ball and socket at joint A and the tension in the supporting cables at DB and DC. So first let's draw the free body diagram like always. We have this tension here which I'm going to call tension B. We have this tension here that we're going to call tension C. Uh, we have the reactions at A. So let's call this AX. This is going to be AC. And here we're going to have AY. And then we have this distributed load, which what we got to do is we got to replace it by an equivalent uh, force. So to do that, let me just erase a little bit here. So we guys can visualize it better. And we're going to replace it. It's a rectangular force, so it's acting right in the middle. I think this is the middle, right? And we're going to call this force L. And L, let's put it here, L is equal to 800, which is what's given right here, times the length, which is 3 meters. So 800 times 3, which would be 2400 newtons. And let me erase also the 800 there we go so we don't have any confusion um this is our um free body diagram now the first thing that you need to do in this problems and i always tell you is let's find all the forces and let's write our basic equations or the sum of the forces in the x and the y and the c and to do so we need to find tension b and tension c in cartesian vector form so tension b it's equal to a unit vector that goes from sorry from d to b times the magnitude this is a unit vector so this unit vector db is equal to the vector that goes from d to b over its magnitude and that is equal to minus 1 in the i, minus 1.5 in the j, plus 2 in the k, over 1 square plus 1.5 square plus 2 square, all square rooted, which is square root of 7.25. So that means that this unit vector is equal to negative 0 0.371 in the i, minus 0 0.557 in the j, plus 0.743 in the k. So, the Cartesian vector form of this vector is equal to that uni vector, 7, 1, db in the i, minus 0.557 db in the j, plus 0.743 db in the k. And now we're going to do the same thing for the uh, tension C. So let's move a little faster for this one. Times DC. What is the uni vector? The uni vector is DC over the magnitude of DC. Minus 1 plus 1 1.5. This is in the I, this is in the J. Plus 2 in the K. All over square root of 7.25. And um, the uni vector, and I'm going to write TC directly, is equal to minus 0 0.371 TC in the i plus 0.557 TC in the j plus 0.743 TC in the k. So we have this vector seen Cartesian vector form. So now all we have to do is remember some of the forces equal to zero in all axes. So we have tension B, tension C, we have L, and we have A, right? So that means that tension B is negative 0.371 TB in the I, minus 0.557 TB in the J, plus 0.743 TB in the K. TC, 371 TB in the I, this is opposite sign as the one above, 
sorry, this is DC, this is not TV. A little mistake there. My notes too. Plus 0.743 DC in decay. L is minus 2400 in decay. And A is AX in the I, AY in the J, and AC in the K. Perfect. So remember that the sum of all of these is equal to zero. So from this, we can derive three equations. Minus 0.371 TB. I'm doing the I's now, right? Minus 0.371 TC plus AX is equal to zero. In the J, is minus 0.557 TB plus 0.557 TC plus AY is equal to zero. And in the K, we have 0.743 TB plus 0.743 TC minus 2400 plus AC is equal to zero. And we're going to call this equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. So, as you can see, we have one variable, two variables, three variables, four variables, and five variables. We have a total of five variables, but only three equations. So we can't solve the system yet. So in order to solve the system, you got to pick a point in the free body diagram and make the, make the moments about that point. But what point do you pick? Well, I'm going to pick A. The reason why I'm picking A is because at A, I have three variables acting on. So if I do the moments about A, I'm going to get rid of three variables and get everything in terms of TB and TC, which will allow me to solve it. So let's make a new page. And I know that the sum of the moments about A, which is equal to zero, is equal to the cross product between A, D, and TB, move down a little bit. So the point from here to here, which is where tension B acts, and this is tension C. And remember, we have L over there. So plus AD cross TC, because that's the moment being created by tension C, plus, and I'm going to call this point right here E. And I'm going to say AE cross L. And that's it. So when I solve these three matrices and add them together, the sum of the i's adjacent the k should equal to zero because the sum of the moments about A is equal to zero. So let's get to it. AD cross TV is equal to I, J, K. Now on the second row we're going to write a vector AD which is 1 0 1 which is the vector from A to D and then TB minus 0 0.371 TB might be running out of space here minus 0 0.557 TB and the last one is 0 0.743 TB don't be like me and leave plenty of space for your matrices. You got to be very clean when you do these calculations or you're going to make mistakes. You repeat the first and second column. 71 TB minus 0.5577 TB. And then you do your positive diagonals. First one zero, second one is J times 1 times negative 0 0.371 minus 0 0.371 TB in the J. Then uh, third one is minus 0.557 TB in the K. Then negative diagonals. It's negative, negative, negative. And that is the first one is zero. Second one is minus times minus 0.557 times one times I, which is minus 0.557 TB in the I. And last one is uh, negative times 0.743 times 1 times j is with minus 0.743 db in the j. So that's our first uh, result for the matrix. 
So let's do AD cross DC. Gonna move a little faster for this one and hopefully leave more room for my matrix. Okay. So that's 101. That's minus 0.371 TC plus 0.557 TC, 0.743 TC. Repeat first and second columns, minus 0.3, three, that's a three, I swear, 71 TC plus 0.557 TC. So we do our positive diagonals. We get first one zero, second one is minus 0 0.371 TC in the J plus 0.557 TC in the K. That's the third one. Negative diagonals. Negative, negative, negative. Uh, first one zero, second one is minus 0 0.557 TC in the I minus 0 0.743 TC in the J. And then the last one, it's the easiest one. AE cross L is equal to I, J, K, 4, 0, 1.5, and 0, 0, minus 2400. Repeat first and second column, 4, 0, 0, 0, and uh, first one zero, second one zero, third one zero, first one zero, second one zero, third one, remember it's a negative diagonal, is positive 9600 in the J. So if we sum the I's, the J's, and the K's, and we set them equal to zero, we get a couple of other equations. In the I, we get an important equation because it's 557TB minus 0.557TC is equal to zero. So if you solve for any one of those variables, you're going to get that TB is equal to TC. So I'm going to call them T since they're both the same. And it makes sense because the, the cables are exactly parallel to each other. I mean, they're mirror images of each other with respect to this XC axis. So for the J, we get that minus 0.371 TB minus 0.743 TB, minus 0.371 TC, minus 0.743 TC, Ooh, I'm running out of space here, put a line here, um, plus 9600, and that is all equal to zero, and let me move that a little bit. All of that is equal to zero. But remember, TB and TC are the same, so I can't literally replace them by T. So let's do that. This is just T. And then we have a one equation with one variable, so we can easily solve it. Add all the T's together, you should get that 2.228T is equal to 9600. T is equal to 4308.8 newtons and look we found the tension and with this tension we can go back to equation one two and three which are right here and literally plug in that number t in each of these equations to find ax a y and a c so from equation one and plugging in t we get that ax is equal to 3200 from equation 2, plug in T, we get that AY is equal to 0. And from equation 3, we plug in T and we get that AC is equal to negative 400 newtons. And T, just to reiterate and have all the answers in the same place, is 4308. So, final answer for the reactions. Final answer for T, which is, remember, this is both... TV and TC. So, final answer. If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're going to find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.